Okay, so we're outside the engine house now. Just too busy inside. And uh, I've got my setup there. PSP7, recorded on the voice recorder just there. And uh, on the phone, going as well. <coughs> just around here, you've got quite a nice scene as well. So let's see if the spirits are in a chatty mood, shall we? Hi, spirits. My name is Richard. Can you please use this device, just here, this one here, to uh, speak to me please today? Please can you tell me the name of this tin mine area? What is it called? How deep is the shaft here? How, how deep far down does it go? Does it go down behind the uh, below the the sea? It's just me getting all tongue tied. There's so much tin left in the mine today. What can you tell me about this place that we don't already know? Is that the smelting hut down there? Do you have anything at all that you wish to tell me today? number of recording devices here, you can use any one of them. But you just like to say hello. Or even better, hello Richard. Can I have your name please? Give me your name. What's your position here? What do you used to do here? What do you think of the many visitors that come here? draw energy from us. Okay, okay look, I've got my wife and uh, my son waiting for me back in the car, so I'm going to have to get off now. Perhaps you could just uh, 
confirm that Spirit Box works for me. Just by saying two words for me. Tim Mine. Can you say Tim Mine for me please? Okay, I'm going to come down from five now, and then we're going to close this session down. Plus, you like to come down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, spirits. Goodbye. Okay, so that's about all for this video. Look at this tin mine. I do believe to be active, and the reason for that is because of the uh, communication we got. So, say for my sake, here's my notes here, at uh, 1 minute 36 seconds when I'm asking about the mine. Basically, I was after the name of the mine, but uh, my christening, maybe, confused the guy, and we got mine come through. Um, at 0332, I'm asking to say hello, Richard. We get a nice, strong Richard come through. Uh, again, I said, Who's here with me? And at 349, we got Duncan. Then at 0442, we get the first part, which some of you may hear, others may not. It's very, very faint. But it's a male voice. I'm asking about what their role was at the mine. I was hoping to find out if it was a uh, family who owned the mine, or the workers. And uh, the response I got, or I can hear, is I worked down the mine. Like I said, that is extremely faint. You may not hear it. Um, a bit later on, I said, do you take energy from us? And we had a female turn around and said, nothing. Then at the end, at 0549, we got a female voice again that says, demon. At 0546, we got leave. At 0549, we hear Richard. Now, the thing is here, as you saw in the video, I had a voice recorder going, I had the mobile phone going, and I had my camcorder going. And the audio for this particular video was from the camcorder. And the reason I'm doing that from the camcorder is simply because the voice recorder picked up nothing and, um, and my mobile phone once again picked up some things that are different again to the voice recorder but the actual paranormal side of things only occurred through the camcorder now the speaker on the camcorder was set to 10 decibels and obviously the microphone on the mobile phone is uh, standard default as is the microphone on the voice recorder and what do I mean at uh, 136 we hear the word mine however on the voice recorder we hear the word marmalade totally different so how do we go from there well I'm going to have to do another video now and it's going to focus on sound in the paranormal and um, basically the pitfalls of paradolia, uh, what is and isn't communication, for lack of another word. Anyway, till then, I hope that you like this video. And if you can't hear the things that I've put down, that I just mentioned, 
go back to the time zones. I told you the time zones. Go back to them and have another listen. But if you still can't hear them, you have to remember this. Get all tongue tied again. At uh, number one, we all hear things differently. And then number two, we all have different tech. You're never going to be able to hear this on mobile phone speakers. They're just not built for the task. We're going to need to wear earpods or headphones, preferably headphones, as I was using earpods on my holiday. And um, yeah, even then, I didn't hear some of the things which I could hear on my headphones. So just remember that, like I said, we all hear things differently. And if you can't hear them, that's fine, no worries. But I've put down the things that I can hear, and I hope that you can hear them too. My next video, like I said, I'll be dealing with the sound, and I'll be showing you the difference in the recordings, all three recordings. Uh, they were recorded simultaneously, as you know. So it's going to be an interesting video, my next one. So until then, take care. And I'll see you all again soon.